Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, let's see how we can use monthly budget spreadsheet in Excel. This template is absolutely free. If you are interested, you can download from the link provided in the description below. To start with, we have the year and I have given the drop down here. You can select from this drop down. So currently 2025 is selected where you can see from Jan 25 to December 25. You, the moment I select the next year or the previous year, let me select 2024. You can see the entire table is updated uh, for 2024. Then next row, you have the surplus or deficit. Uh, for the month of January, you have uh, 2300 and it is reflected in green font. It means it's a surplus. So in February month, it is reflecting in uh, uh, red and you can see the negative. It means you have a deficit. So for this, I use uh, conditional formatting where if there is an income or a surplus, it will reflect in green. And if there is a deficit, it will reflect in red with negative. And here, uh, wherever we have the surplus or if it is reflecting in the green, it means your income for that specific month is more than the expenses. So for example, in the month of January, your income is 12,500, uh, whereas fixed and variable sum is less than uh, uh, 12,500. So let me show you the formula. I will press F2 from the keyboard. You can see D13 is the sum of all the incomes that is 12,500 minus D20 that is uh, uh, fixed expenses sum and then we have the variable expenses sum. So together you have a surplus of $2,300. So this surplus is uh, carried forward to the next month that is for the February month. So it means uh, your overall income will increase because you have a, a surplus from the previous month. Then you have the fixed expenses for the January, which is like 8,550 and variable expenses is uh, uh, 6,900. Now again, to uh, for February month, we have a deficit because your expense is more than the income. So here, my, uh, minus 1,550 is carried forward to the next month. Automatically, your uh, income will reduce by 550 because you have a deficit of 550 in the previous month. Then under income, you have the drop down here. You can select as per uh, from the drop down. Uh, so this drop down, the information, it is coming from sheet two, uh, where I have listed all the incomes here. Again, you can change as per your convenient and same thing will reflect in the main sheet. So similarly for fixed expenses and variable expenses I have listed out here, you can change accordingly. And then uh, you can select from this drop down. 